All right, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today we're going to talk to you about welding. I uh, don't do a whole lot of welding, but what little I do, uh, obviously you need a good helmet. That's more or less what this video is about, It's this particular helmet. This helmet was sent to me for a review, and just a little knowledge of uh, welding helmets that I have, this is uh, not bad. This is uh, pretty nice. The straps you have on the head part you got two adjustables here and then you got a quick adjustable here to really cinch it down to your head and then you got the two knobs on the back that attentions the helmet as you flip it up or down uh, so that is nice and comfortable on the inside it is auto tinning um, the whole mechanism pops out real easy it has a thumb screw inside and you can pop the whole mechanism out and change the glass if you need to real quick and easy and there is a uh, a little plastic guard on there as well to protect the main screen this whole assembly comes out there's a couple batteries in here it is solar powered so in theory you should never have to uh, replace those batteries but you may have to charge them up a little bit um, it has a delay feature, a shade feature, a sensitivity feature. It has a switch from grind or weld, and it has a shade range of 519 or 913. So that just pops in and out real nice and easy. And it just has a little thumb screw down there. and that gets cinched down. The helmet itself is designed nicely. It's a uh, fairly thick plastic, but it is, uh, it is somewhat flexible, so it's not a totally rigid plastic. Um, be my guess, like an ABS. I, I'm not a plastic person, but be my guess, maybe an ABS. The front shade, it gives you five total in the kit. Uh, plenty of extras and that's going to take the brunt of your uh, splatters or anything like that. It's going to take the blunt of that. Uh, on the two sides there is a shade, two shaded areas where it gives you some peripheral vision while you have the mask on and that is super nice. And then uh, again auto tinning on the uh, shade itself. So let me uh, pop a little bead down and uh, just try not to laugh at my welding skills. Definitely has a quick response to it. Um, you can set the delay as well and make that uh, uh, change that a little bit if you want. I'm going to try to put this up to the camera. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll give her a shot. So just a little bit about the helmet, uh, I very much like it, uh, especially considering the one that came with 
this one doesn't even flip down or anything. You just hold it up to your face. That's that's all it is. And that is definitely not cool. You hold it up here and you're supposed to hold it now. So this one's definitely a improvement. Um, I like the fact that you have the peripheral vision shades so you can see all the way around you. And even when it's on, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Um, just to flip it up and, you know, if you need to talk to somebody while you're welding or whatever, you can flip it up or flip it down either way. Um, I'm very impressed. So I'll put a link in the description for everything and uh, it'd be worth going and checking out, especially if you're new to welding and uh, especially if you need a backup uh, helmet or even a helmet at all. Uh, very good entry level helmet in my opinion. That's all I got for you this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.